There's too much heaven on their minds. Especially Daniel with his chapter 7. Too much heaven on their minds. It was, you know. It's just Sheol, and he thinks it's a resurrection and stuff, you know. And Jesus. Heaven's my home. You know, what, what the Lord promised, which I don't think Isaiah and Co., all the way through those prophets, they, they were just mouthing off. What the Lord promised Adam and Eve was in the day they, they'll they surely die, you know, they did in the end. He was giving them chances by the looks of it. Surely sort of means almost certainly, but not quite. There is a chance that they'll pull through. But they did, in fact, die in the end. So, um, he's giving them chances, you know, okay, you know, here's some, oh, I'll close this nakedness and we'll make some amends. We'll see how you go. They didn't work it out. You know, they lived nine centuries, but they didn't work it out. None of them worked it out. And the recent bunch for the last couple of thousand years had too much heaven on their minds. It's like they believed in this heavenly thing and they, they, they haven't worked it out. You know, I mean, God was giving them a chance to work it out. With Adam and Eve, he gave them a chance to work it out. You know, he was making s some steps to work it out with them. But they didn't. So there was always offers from the Lord to work it out with us. He always gave us a chance to work this thing out. And to get back to the tree of life. But people have, you know, they like their sins.